might as well just say it. I might as well just say it. I am kind of disappointed with the Hell's Paradise anime. Now, hold on. Before I tell you why I'm disappointed, I, of course, I got to say, make sure you subscribe and like the video, too, and comment down below how you feel about Hell's Paradise anime so far. Because what I'm about to say, I might... Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, so let's start the video, man. So, Hell's Paradise is an anime that I was looking forward to watch. Like, you know, it came along with JJK and Chainsaw Man, and, you know, Hell's Paradise is formed as the New Dark Trio. And then people have been saying this is the game changer of shown it, all, all that type of stuff. And yeah, so I was looking forward to it, right? And I was even looking forward to it so much that I made a video after episode one saying, oh, this is Hell's Paradise. This shit is lit, man. It had a great introduction episode, and I was like, I'm going to do a review later on, probably like when it's closer to ending and stuff. And unfortunately, this is, you know, the review right now because I'm at episode eight, I think. And you know, I just finished episode eight. I didn't see episode nine yet. But still, I was like, okay, so I got some things to say. So, is it just me, or has this anime felt a little underwhelming? Okay, like, what I mean by that is, okay, I think my main issue with this is probably the animation. I don't know, I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm not that type of an animation guy. But, here's the thing. Okay, so, you know me, I hate when niggas say animation is ass when it's literally not. Like, just because it's not affordable or fucking, actually, never mind. I was a old mapper, but, you know, well, <laughs> but just because it's not affordable doesn't mean every other animation is trash. Like, niggas don't know about Kyoto Animation or Production IG. They don't know about that, but all they know about is, you know, mapper and affordable. But speaking of mapper, they actually are known for, like, their great animation, bro. And, like, different shows like Chainsaw Man and JJK, Villain Saga, and hell, even AOT. Yeah, I said it, nigga. Forget part one. I'm talking about part two and, you know what I'm saying, the part three special. That had amazing amazing animation but with hell's paradise anime it's just it it feels weird okay now what i mean by this i feel like to me the animation is kind of inconsistent i think that's my biggest issue with the whole anime by itself because don't get me wrong i love the story like i love how the whole thing is set up as like a battle royale type shit and i even love the characters i love getting to know the characters and their stories like even like one of my main issues with this show is specifically probably episode eight and some other ones but like i remember episode eight i was like damn this is this would be a great episode unless you know the animation was right now i'll get to that later in the video but like what i mean by inconsistent animations like i remember episode Episode one had great animation, right? And then episode two, I know a lot of people love this episode, but to me, I was like, hold on, <laughs> I was like, wait, I gotta, I gotta rewind this because, okay, you remember that scene when like they was introducing the, all the criminals and stuff, and they was all fighting the guards, like I guess to stay alive or like survival type shit, and uh, I was like, this, okay, it just feels off. Like I think the best word to describe this, and I hate to discredit Mapper and like. Like, because, like, okay, I know that their work need to be paid more and shit. They need to go on strikes and the whole writer strike thing. But, uh, you no, know, mapper workers, they 100% deserve a raise. And, like, they, I appreciate their work for this. But for, like, the studio, I was like, this this animation feels a little cheap. And I know it costs money and stuff, but it feels a little cheap. And it doesn't flow right, if that makes sense. I think that's a better word. It doesn't flow right. Because I remember when they was, like, beating down the other guards and, like, I guess killing the other criminals, like, to survive. I was like... This would hit more, it feels like more impact and like more like fluent, but it was like kind of like cheap looking. In other words, bad animation a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hate to compare things, but I gotta make my points. But like, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen season one and how like different fluent animation that was, right? Now, uh, Hell's Paradise doesn't have that. And was I wrong to expect that for Hell's Paradise? Like, I don't know, man. Um, and that's not the thing, because I would say this is not the whole case, because, like, throughout the whole anime, my thing is, like, inconsistent. What I mean by that, of course, is, like, one episode, like, episode one, or, like, Sophia episodes, like, well, they, it's, like, great animation, right? And then the other episode, it's, like, drops. Like, it's not flowing right. It just looks a little cheap and stuff. And then, um, I didn't mind it, though. I'll be honest, I didn't mind it. And, like I said, getting to know the characters, I just wish it had, like, that would have made it more special to me because I feel like honestly, I feel like the hype for Hell's Paradise ever since episode one has literally died down. And the only time I seen like trending was like with the animation problem. I've seen people on Twitter, I know that's a bad source, but even on Reddit, I've seen people talk about how like the animation is kind of like weird and stuff, and they're gonna stick to the manga or go to the manga because they don't the anime. I was like, bro, like. I thought I was the only one that thought about this, man. But I want to hear y'all thoughts down below in the comments. Do y'all feel this way too and stuff? I'm trying to get more examples. Like, I remember, like, uh, what's her name? Saguri? Or Saguri, the swordsman for Gabimaru. That whole episode with her backstory, that was nicely animated. I think the main issue is probably the fights. I feel like this show, of course, Battle Royale kind of show, you can expect great fights, right? And I've seen, I don't know how many it's been so far, probably like six or seven. But out of those seven, I say two of those probably nicely animated and and some hyped up moments in the show like Gabimaru, like killing this beast or even 
Yuriza, like even her introduction uh, is like hard, especially when she met Gabimaru and like she was seducing him. <laughs> caught me off guard by the way, but that animation was nice too. But I know with the inconsistent animation, I was like, this is, you know what, I still follow the anime, the stories are nice and the characters are great. So I'm gonna keep watching this stuff. But I think my main issue was with episode eight, and I hate to say this, but episode eight would have been a cool 10, nine, nine and 10 until like that ending okay now this is what i mean by that so if you're not caught up episode eight then you might want to uh skip this part and stuff uh but yeah episode eight i thought it was a nice episode it was emotional it was sad it was uplifting it was a great storytelling for a character and uh much as i was saying this about this character i forget his name already the blonde guy with the uh, headband and his master which is the, the blind swordsman then you got nuri guy so these three was together because you know uh nuri guy it was the criminal to the blonde headband guy blonde headband guy was a student to the blind guy I, i'm sorry i just i'll fly and look at the names they encountered like this damn divine god or somebody uh, an op ass villain and uh, of course this is a survival island so you gotta find a way to defeat it or run so that's what they was finna do until the blonde guy had like this sacrificing heartfelt moment with him and decided to sacrifice himself so the master and nuri guy could get away now if you don't know nuri guy is a girl i found this out like episode three or something like that i thought that was a boy well i thought it was a girl at first and i thought he said it was a boy then it was a girl anyways nuri guy and the blonde guy uh, of course <laughs> they had this little like nice friendship kind of turn a relationship thing because she uh was you know impressed by his little hero mannerisms and shit you know how he vowed to protect her and of course that made her feel special so they was you know forming this relationship thing but i thought they was joking honestly I, I guess they was for real until i saw you know him sacrificing himself and then in his like last moments he was you know thinking of flashbacks thought about his master thought about nuri guy and then they showed like nuri guy and him like in the feature with like kids and meeting the family and stuff like oh we was getting here okay and then when the moment came for him to sacrifice himself when he went out like a bang by the way if he was gonna die he was gonna die fighting right that's literally what happened and uh so of course nuri guy was heartbroken by that because then that was her her man i was like damn this shit look, look he hit and then uh her voice actor, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. Her voice actor, or I think I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but her voice actor is nice because when she was like yelling and crying, I was like, damn, I feel that shit. And then, okay, and the animation at first showed this. <laughs> this is great. Nice voice acting, nice animation. You know what I'm saying? I could feel that shit, right? And then, coming from that to this. <laughs> What? What? Like, this? This looks cheap. Like you see what I'm saying? Like what? What was this? Okay, I have a lot of issues. I'm going to say right now. First of all, it looks kind of cheap, and it just looks a little out of place and odd, right? And then why when she was hitting him, like it, that looked cheap too. Like it, it didn't like it didn't hit man like where's the impact it just it looks like poor quality and stuff and i hate to say that because mappa is so much better than this and i feel like this is one of those shows that should have just waited honestly i'm probably handing to another studio instead of mappa and getting it because man mappa has too many fucking shows and don't even start with one punch man that's end up being true bro oh my god bro and i feel like also like why was they making her like blushing like bro we get it she's a girl like she didn't have to blush and fucking cry and stuff <sighs> It, okay, this damn near ruined the character for me. <laughs> I might reread the scene in the manga because I think it might hit more in there. But it was like this one the instance where like animation could like ruin something. Man, this episode was nice until that happened. I was like, man, what the hell, <laughs> man. But yeah, that's kind of uh, it for that. And like I said, my main problem with the show is this animation. I love the story. I love the OSTs. The opening is still fire as fuck. And like the characters are nice, man. But just the, just the animation, man. I just hope it gets better, man. I think we got like three more episodes. Left. Stuff. just give me some off the wall crazy type animation like oh my god that shit go crazy bro yeah that's my issues with hair paradise the anime and i'm gonna hear what's yours maybe you have an issue with the manga too that's spoiling you can probably tell me what you know what i'm saying what's your issue with that and then yeah that's kind of it man i'll catch you on next video and i'm out bye oh, whoa